Good afternoon, everyone. McLovia Pettis, 25 News Now. This is your hourly update on Barrel. Barrel is coming to uh, our area. Uh, there you see Corpus Christi. There's Victoria, the center, probably about less than 100 miles off the coast. We're beginning to get the outer band, so our weather is going to be going south on us for the next 12 hours. As a matter of fact, by midnight, uh, it'll be rather breezy, probably in the 40, 50 mile an hour range as a storm comes ashore somewhere around midnight. Now, what we're getting now is a little thunder and lightning. There's Victoria, there's Port Lavaca. You can see how the outer bands are sort of going this way. A very unusual development with the barrel since the track of it came from Brownsville, then to Corpus Christi, and is now over Matagorda Bay. So that puts the wet side of the storm from Matagorda to Houston, and from Matagorda to the uh, west, it's not going to be as heavily uh, in terms of rain. So here's the conditions or the uh, location of it right now. It's at 26.8 north, 95.5 west. Uh, winds are still at 65 miles an hour, but they are expected uh, to develop possibly up to 75 before it makes landfall. Uh, stronger than that, it's probably not, a light, not likely that it'll get any stronger than that. So uh, for those of you in uh, Port Lavaca, uh, Palacios, Collegeport, Olivia, headed out to Matagorda, headed all the way to Bay City. You're going to be in the brunt of it. You're going to, the eye is going to pass probably right over Matagorda City. So you're going to get ready for the highest winds. The rainfall will be heaviest on this side. In fact, we've already had several bands. You can see one right there that came up. We haven't seen anything, but the real heavy storms already are starting to push up into the Houston area. And the truth is the center, or not the center, but the, the brunt of the storm is going to be from Matagorda to Beaumont. They're going to see the highest tides, and that includes the Galveston area. This is a future cast of the next uh, 24 hours, and we say, okay, how much rain are we going to get? Well, you can see the line here. Uh, we're, we're, okay, Port Lavaca is right there, Victoria is right over here, and you can see from Victoria to the east, uh, 10 to 12 inches, okay? And then from Victoria west, less than an inch. It's pretty crazy, but that's the way it works out as the center of it comes offshore and starts rolling in this direction. This is very different from what we were looking at uh, last Friday when the storm center was coming in uh, near the Brownsville area. We are under a hurricane warning. That means that until Monday afternoon, we're going to have hurricane conditions here. What is that? 75 mile an hour winds peaking, uh, four to six inches of rain in spots. And of course, the gusty winds that are going to be causing problems. Now, I would not be surprised if we did have some power outages. The winds are going to be that strong. The rain issue is now for the eastern side, not the western side. So if you're out in Carn City or Goliad, you don't have to worry about that. But what, what you really do have to worry about is from Matagorda Bay right here uh, through um, Matagorda and all the way up to uh, Jackson County, uh, you're looking at uh, signif significant storm surge. You need to be very cautious if you're by the water. As a matter of fact, you should be out of that area right now because the water's going to come up, come up four to six feet. You say, well, no problem. I've done it before. We just don't know how deep it's going to be. And remember, in Alberto, the tides were so high because the water is much warmer than normal. If you Google that, you'll find out that warm water expands. Therefore, the tide is higher than you normally will see. So coastal warnings do be cautious along the water's edge. If you get up into, uh, uh, you know, along Highway 59, Wharton, you're not going to have too many problems except for the freshwater rainfall that's going to occur from Wharton all the way to Houston. Now, here's Future Tracker, 5 o'clock this afternoon on Sunday. And then uh, by 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, gets very close to land. Heavy rains will begin by that time. And then by 2 o'clock in the morning, the center should be moving over the coastline. Uh, and that's the center, but the center is irrelevant. Folks, this is about 150 miles wide, okay? So it's, it's a big storm. And then the heavy, uh, uh, heaviest rain will occur basically in the overnight time period through Monday morning. Monday morning is going to be very messy, very sloppy, very windy and very wet. Very likely we're going to be seeing flooding by then. And so the storm then moves to the northeast. On Friday, we were concerned that the storm would rain itself out in central Texas. 
that was going to be one of our big concerns. Well, now it's moving into northeast Texas. It's not going to stall here, and that sort of helps us out from minimizing our flooding potential. We're going to stay on the very warm and humid side. You can see all the way through Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's not going to be storm related. Now, here's a very interesting map. You can see the winds forecast right around the storm system, and then it comes up shore on, onto the coast, and you can see the winds really blowing. Now, they're going to be picking up at this hour, and you can see Palash is here with 45 mile an hour winds. So, there's going to be a lot of trees down, signs down, you know, placards down, garbage cans floating down the street and flying down the street. So, do be cautious. In fact, I would really urge you just, you know, hunker down, stay home tonight, uh, watch some. TV. Uh, we're, we've got lots of programming for you to keep you entertained. Hopefully the lights will stay on. But with 45, 55 mile an hour winds, you know, somewhere, somehow we're going to lose something. And we get into Monday, the biggest stuff occurs. And then after that, we start uh, settling down. It'll be very wet, but at least we won't have the high winds. We're, we've got all kinds of coastal issues. We've got, of course, coastal flooding on the beaches, waters coming up to the dunes. High tides will be higher than normal because of the storm surge. Rip current is ridiculous right now, and so it's not a good time to be out tomorrow. Forget about it. Stay home. Say uh, seas will be four to eight. No, no, that's now. Uh, this evening or overnight uh, will be uh, eight to 12 feet at the height of the storm, and waters are going to be very rough. Temperatures uh, tomorrow, that's just for Monday, not to be concerned, uh, lots of rain, mild temperatures because of the rain and the cloud cover. There's no real uh, break in the rain for Monday. It is going to be wet all day long, and that's what concerns us with the potential for flooding, and that's pretty much all over the crossroads. So this, uh, instead of becoming a Brownsville storm or then maybe a Corpus storm, becomes a Port Lavaca storm, a Matagorda Bay storm. So we've got alerts up for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The storm barrel is here. Leftovers are here and here. And then we slowly dry up a little bit more than that. We're doing hourly reports to give you the latest update on the forecast and the position of barrel. But the punchline is this. It's going to be getting worse tonight into midnight. Then at about 2 o'clock, the storm center moves in. Then tomorrow the rains begin and it'll be a very rainy day. So best to hunker down, stay home. There are no mandatory evacuations that we've been able to find. Uh, there is a voluntary along the coastal waters, and I think that's a great idea. Uh, vans, trailers, anything that can blow in a 50 mile an hour wind. Well, this is the time to take care of that because as the, we get closer to midnight, the winds are going to be getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So leave it right here on 25 News Now. We've got a newscast coming up at 5 o'clock. Uh, then we'll have programming for you, and 5.30 rather, the show, the newscast. Then we'll have entertainment uh, through the night, and then we'll have another 10 o'clock newscast to give you an update on the latest of Tropical Storm Barrel.